you keep telling me things are going to be all right, Tom, and then the market doesn't do what you say it's going to going to do. I mean, I don't know what to make of it. It's painful. I mean, I'd say anybody who owns stocks today feels like they're caught in like a vortex of downward misery. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people are questioning their own sanity. Uh, I think Josh made some good points even about a stock like Disney. But I think for, before people start to lose too much hope, uh, this week is interesting because the stock market declines have accelerated downwards, right? So we're like the waterfall is accelerating. But things that normally would corroborate a waterfall decline like yields or VIX have not been. So, you know, the bond market's actually been pretty stable even in the face of a hot CPI. And the VIX uh, actually has been falling. So it looks like the market's actually short volatility. Well, I mean, the VIX is still elevated. Let's not act like it's, uh, you know, going down that, that much. It just, you know, it, it hasn't approached that level, let's say the 40, for example, that some talk about as the level you would like to or need to see to have a true capitulation sort of a feeling in the market. Correct. But at the same time, the fact that the VIX is stable means it's found equilibrium so that the level of protection that or expected vol that the market's looking for is now stable. And I think if you're getting negative surprises fundamentally and someone's trying to seek protection, the VIX should actually be spiking or rate should be falling. And instead, we just have the stock market selling up. So I, I think one thing that's going to stand out in the, in the last couple of weeks is the fact that we declined 16% in, in less than four months. That's only happened 16 times uniquely since 1940. So it's not, we're in a different mode where I think it's not about fundamental now, it's a technical decline. But the good news is of the 16 instances, 12, month, 12 out of the 16 times, the market was higher six months later. Average gain is more than double digit. And 15 what, of the 16 times the market was higher, 12 months later, average gain is 20. So we're in a zone where if the market finds its footing, we're in a world of double digit expected returns. But isn't this, you say it's a, it's a technical uh, lead decline. Isn't it both? Isn't it fundamental and technical? I hear you on the technicals. But there are serious concerns about the state of the U.S. economy and the consumer going forward. Uh, that's a great point. Um, but let's say I was worried about uh, earnings for the next 12 months, and so I want to buy companies that will grow faster than GDP. I think you'd, we would all probably come back to looking at names like Microsoft, Apple, Facebook, and then we'd say, well, I want to buy these, but they're trading at below market multiples, Facebook at 11 times. And so I don't think it's investors necessarily worried about earnings, because if they were, they'd be buying stocks that have earnings visibility. I think it's pure, it's almost- Well, they're in denial. What if they're in total denial? What if they're, they're in as much denial as some of the analysts are who haven't taken their earnings projections yes. down? I mean, isn't that the next thing to go? Uh, yeah, I think, in, in the, that's actually a good point. I think that the market is debating if this is a hard landing versus a soft landing or a growth scare. And I think in the past week, the betting is on a hard landing. And so if that's the case, then of course things could get a lot worse. I just would expect things like high yield to be getting crushed and spreads to be blowing out. And so it's, uh, it's almost a hard landing is getting priced into equities, but it's not as apparent in other markets.